So, one end of the Thames path is at a big shiny metal flood control system called the Thames Barrier at London. But what's at the other end of the Thames path? Well, it goes all the way up to a place that is commonly believed to be the source of the Thames, that spring from where all the water that comes gushing through central London sets forth on its merry journey. Now, is it actually the source? Well, who knows? There's a lot of contentions. Some people say it's actually somewhere else, 10 miles away. Some people say, oh gosh, you know, the Thames starts at Oxford. <laughs> it's all the ISIS before that. But for most people, we just commonly say it's uh, here at a place called Thameshead. And this is Thameshead. And over there is the uh, stone that is the source of the River Thames. And normally you can go and walk up to it because in the summer, the Thames around here is completely dry, it's bone dry, there's no water here, it's all channel underground. But I'm here in February when, um, well, it's not. In fact, things are so bad here today that I can actually only show you the stone or, that marks the uh, source of the Thames by the, fact that, by the sheer fact this camera has an extremely good <laughs> zoom function. I can't actually get there, the water is just simply too deep, too much and there's just no way that my boots or my trousers can really go over it. But here you are, this is what it looks like, it's a field. It's a field with grass, with trees and with today a substantial amount of water.